Tom Blue Techie Primers. This is the 20th video of Spring Boot Microservices with the Spring Security video series. If you follow this tutorial from the beginning, you will be able to fetch a token like this. If you are new for this tutorial or my channel, basically I am creating a dynamic uh, web application and also I am using technology like Spring Boot Microservices with uh, Spring Security and front-end technologies and you. Okay, let's uh, begin today's section. Okay, up to now we completed. You can see we created a custom user detail service class yeah, there is a method called get authorities right as i said previously uh, currently we are getting uh, static authority right this is the static one so so in this tutorial i'll show you how you can generate uh, dynamic authorities based on these uh, features right features and roles basically for that we created feature entity permission entity and feature and permissions contain many to many mapping right so because of that i created the mapping table called feature permission okay and you can see uh, this is the uh, this is the feature and this is the permission right so inside this mapping class guys there is a uh, uh, relationship uh, feature relationship is many to one right inside this mapping class permission is containing many to one relationship right then uh, then after the feature permission guys i have wanted to map role as cell so, okay for that i created the another many to many mapping role feature mapping right here you can see uh, feature permission is one to one relationship okay then i have role feature map is a role id also there right here what i have wanted is uh, without getting this this type of authority uh, static i need to make as a dynamic right so uh, if i explain more basically what i want to do is inside this feature permission there is a string call feature permission url right so so when we change this this feature permission url uh, i need to give some permissions right for each users so basically uh, that what i need i have wanted to do so while coding guys i will explain more so here so this part i not don't need right because i know i don't need to stick with uh, one particular uh, authority so i need to do it dynamic based on this feature permission and feature permissions uh, those mappings so for that i commented here okay Very slow. Given a static one, yeah, I'm given the URL, right? Then let's, let's make it as a dynamic. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
then guys you need to implement this method right so in authority we have a service class in here we need to implement this method right how how i need to get authorities based on the user id when you change the user id it may it may be different authorities right that that's basically uh, what i'm now i'm going to do okay first uh, i need to fetch user right based on the user id that to call user repository so repository we need to define this at the field so It's created. Okay. The field type is user repository. So in to initialize this one as a constructor parameter. Get out of it. Then I need to write the find by method, right? So I find based on this use ID. Find by use ID is not there, right? So I need to create. Repository here to get the optional user. Okay, I need to find by user ID. Okay. You can see in the uh, JP repository is there they suggest there are so many inbuilt method, right? So in here you can find by first destiny, which means you can get a unique values. So user by right? so many uh, method, right? So just now I want to fetch using user ID. Right? So in here find by user id right it's not suggesting by right? uh, should suggest find by user id like this right i think uh, i may assume this user id is integer so Go back inside this our method and to use that method, right? So in here you need to in here uh, in here. So I need to get a user uh, with, uh, with using use ID, right? So here I use IntelliJ shortcut Control Alt V, then it's generating a variable for us. So this is my user object variable and also i need to create a variable this is actually a set okay for storing my uh, permission right this type is string and i'm going to storing all the permission here new add set okay uh, 
so why I am using the set without using the list because guys the permissions variable only uh, exist uh, all unique values right I don't want any duplication so I need to avoid duplications so that is the reason I use the set then guys I need to check this way so object is optional so I can use is present so object I to check this is a present if it is present guys I need to show my mission right here I need a repository each of permission repository each of permission each of permission repository right here okay in here I need to generate this repository Final field. Okay, then I do need to place as a construct argument. Okay. And go back here. Um, basically, I need to write the query, right? What I need to do is I need to fetch a permission based on the role okay then uh, it should be set because I need to avoid uh, duplicate values and this, this may be some native query right so this is not related JPA repository uh, Query, so this is just a SQL native query. So I'm going to write here find all the permission, permission with based on the role, right? IDs uh, for all. Convenient. And then, guys, so. This is I'm using annotation like param right because uh, I need to write some native query um, for fetching uh, all the permission based on the role. So in here I need to pass role ID as a parameter. This is a integer role ID. Yeah, guys so <coughs> basically uh, I need to fetch a permission with using role so for that we can't uh, directly use the existing JPA query so because of these reasons I need to go with native queries so, okay. in here guys so I need to join three table right uh, first one is uh, role feature permission so we have uh, all each permission right this is the first table so other second one is feature permission and the last one is feature those three table I need to map right so finally what I need to do is I need to fit in feature permission url right it's containing feature permission table so i'll show you you can see feature permission. Okay. once you execute this call query you can see there is a uh, URL right this this is the URL this, this is the URL I need to fetch based on the role uh, I am going to input right so finally I need to fetch this URL 
for that i need to type the join query so here i use uh, because i need to join multiple tables so i need to join uh, one or two or more so multiple table i need to join for that i need to use join queries right so uh, as you know so there are different types of joins in sql right so uh, inner join so you can use inner join so left join right join or full join so what is the difference out inner join and left join so inner join means it's return records that uh, have matching values in both table right so left join means returns all the records from the left table and the match records from the right tables right so right join means return all the records from the right table and the match record from the left table so final join is full join full join means return all the records when there is a match in either left or right table those are the difference between each four joints so in here i use inner join right so what here i need to do is i need to fetch feature permission url right for that select feature permission underscore url url I need to fetch from permission module because my schema is permission module, right? So as you can see, this is the permission module. That's what I use here. So this uh, so this uh, table and the data I will put in a description link, so you can get and you can restore these tables and the data uh, in your local environment as well. So in, then you can get those data as well. So in here, permission module, I need to call feature permission table. Here, yeah, this use for feature score. Permission, okay. And my reference is role then i need to join uh, with uh, this role feature permission into uh, feature permission table right for that i use in a join okay. in a join table is permission module Permission, right? The permission preference is feature permission. Then there is this feature permission containing this feature permission. You are this, this is the feature permission. Okay. Um, inner join. If we using the inner join, the next syntax is on right. So in uh, in here we need to include uh, join right actually uh, join in between uh, role feature permission and feature permission so here are this is a reference so i'm used for each uh, role feature permission and uh, role feature permission there is a property call feature permission id right permission id and match with feature permission table feature permission id okay uh, i need uh, one more in a join for map this feature so meanwhile so we will test 
Okay, this is permission module. Okay, okay. Feature This is the syntax of permissions. Table is in my equivalency all the records you can fetch. So, this is my next inner join. Okay, this is inner join with permission module feature. is F then on F dot feature ID well e dot feature ID this is this is mapping between feature permission and feature table it was in feature ID then condition use where clause then p dot all id okay and what's role id so in here you can try so let's say i need the role id I don't know whether this record is exist or not. Let's see. Yeah, this is only one record I have, right? So, if we put different one, like five. Oh no. C6. Yeah, right. So, those are the. Uh, feature permission you are so this is my outcome so based on that also i need to give different permission for different users right so our code is now correct so then yeah. do one more thing so I need to get the result like this. Okay. Go to the result here. This is not mandatory. So, result one dot all from these records, right? So, I need to get the, all the the result with using this reference same result right so i need to copy paste this report in our repository okay. in here i use uh, at query native query I'm going to write here so value okay ID here we face the this query in here so one more thing so in here i need to initialize this query as a native word right okay. so that's it so this is the query i have wanted uh, okay i need one more thing so i need to initialize this raw id in here Like that way. Okay. Then when we insert the role ID, so according to that uh, we can get a uh, uh, set of feature permission URL. So as a set. Right? Okay. Going back to our implementation here. So what is the I need to all the principal ID based on the role. We can 
that this role ID there. We have a user object, which is the optional one. So you get, and here you can see get role, and here you can get role ID. So then finally you can get the permission. So permission is nothing but uh, which version you are in, right? Then uh, once you fetch this permission, so I can return. All right, that way, so we can set up our dynamic uh, permissions. Okay, in here, guys, uh, you need to add auto annotation here. Uh, I think it should was not previously uh, other thing is uh, one more thing I changed here uh, and yeah guys uh, this part uh, it was commented so it's not commented those other changes uh, currently we need Let's commit, commit these changes. Control K. And next, we need to see all the changes for it and check whether these changes need to commit or not. Okay, those are the changes to commit. And we need to commit message. And smart. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. So in next tutorial, next video, so I'll show you how you can restore your database and data and everything and how you can test this, right? So uh, if you're not subscribed my channel, please go and subscribe, if, uh, share this video and uh, like, right? So and your comment as well. Okay. We'll see you in the next video.